Mike's Dark Centeno, and this is my Cervical Vertigo series. Now, today we're going to talk about testing for cervical vertigo. How does that work? Well, one of the problems is that there isn't great testing for cervical vertigo when it comes to the kind of test that you would get in an ENT doctor's office. Uh, they tend to run what's called a VNG test or a balanced platform test. Uh, and physical therapists will sometimes use those VNG goggles to look for nystagmus and things like that. Having said that, it's important to realize that for something like a VNG test uh, in an ENT doctor's office, they're really looking for vestibular and brain and eighth cranial nerve issues. Now, they can add something called a smooth pursuit neck torsion, a uh, physical therapist can do that too, and that's when you have the VNG goggles on and you turn your head and they're looking for your ability to track an object and it should decline as you turn your head. The problem is that test rarely gets done and that's a big problem and issue for my patients. Uh, really for cervical vertigo, it's caused by a structure in the neck. So you've got to figure out which structures in the neck are causing that problem. Once you figure that out, that can be done with a diagnostic block. You can numb a specific structure and the vertigo will go away. So again, testing for cervical vertigo is available, but it's rare. And the ultimate test is finding out which structure is causing your symptoms and blocking or numbing that structure to see if your symptoms go away. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.